we haven't done uh, many Google Doodles uh, recently. And that's because, I mean, it just gets old after a while. I mean, it's the same old stuff with some of these Google Doodles. But now they've come seeming out of the closet. Hey, Mike. And here we have just in your face. This doesn't even require decoding, you guys. I mean, this is just in your face. But we will decode it. People are so fast to sleep that they can put this stuff out there. And obviously, most people will not understand what they're even looking at. What we have here is Mount Olympus. Now, for those that already have done some research and study on Mount Olympus, it is the place where it is said that the Greek gods came down to planet Earth. Many battles took place on Mount Olympus and so on and so forth. But what they're really depicting here is basically Mount Hermon. They've got three gods standing at the peak. And of course, Mount Hermon is known as the Three Peaks Mountain, where the fallen angels came down at 33 degrees north parallel, came down to Earth. There's actually the highest temple in the world, very close to the UN base, which is the highest UN base in the world. They're looking for something. And of course, this mountain is underneath the firmament, as you can see here. This is the firmament, and they've got this mountain peak, and they're depicting, depicting the Olympic gods, 13 or 12 of them to be exact, Zeus in the middle with his lightning bolt, and so here you have a knockoff on the 12 disciples, right? So instead of 12 disciples, it's 12 Greek gods. And they're standing outside the firmament as if they conquered and were able to escape the firmament. Now, we know this isn't going to happen, but this is what they're depicting. I guess these waves could be considered like the clouds, the upper waters outside the firmament. We're told they're lower and upper waters in the Bible. And they're basically depicting the gods breaking free of the firmament, which is not going to happen, of course, right? Just click on this and make sure we're connected up. Very good. Hello, everybody. Here's Mike, Rebecca, Shirley, Andrew, Mary, Mr. Karen, Behold, Autumn Kite, Tamara, Gypsy. You know, uh, we're not going to be on here very long. Sweet Leilani, Linda. 43 meth pills a day. Wow. Liam X Mills in the house. Okay, so basically, this is what they're depicting. Now, I've been doing a lot of research and decoding on some of these films. I realized that these people are reading a script. What is a script? A script is a knockoff on scripture. Instead of reading scripture, they're reading a script, which is the words of the devil, right? And this is why this sorcery is taking place. They're basically indoctrinating us, brainwashing us into not believing in God and all sorts of other things that are detrimental to our spiritual health. This is what you're watching on television and in movies. Here's a little bit more information on Mount Olympus. Located in the Olympic range on the border between Thessaly and Macedonia. Fifty-two peaks. Wow. Deep gorges and exceptional biodiversity. The highest peak, Miticus, means about 9,500 feet. One of the highest peaks in Europe in terms of topographic prominence. Home of the Greek gods. Nazareth flora. I'm just looking for any other clues that we can find in here that might point back to Mount Hermon. Now, I believe these mountains are some kind of 
former conduit to the heavens back when the garden was here on earth and <clears throat> these conduits uh i believe were interdimensional portals to travel back and forth back when heaven and earth were united we know that they were united because adam and eve had access to god okay but then something happened we fell into a fallen state we were cut off from the garden and i believe the reason why you see all these ufos on mountains why these mountains are volcanic some of them i believe that all of this is because of these these con former conduits and now there's by the devil if he travels underground he travels in the root systems of these former mountains in hell okay that's what i believe is going on here so you see all these a lot of these mountains have very spiritual much a lot of spiritual importance even in the bible you know they went up to tops of mountains to talk to god okay now this of course is my opinion i've seen a strange uh trend large channels very large channels some of them 40 50 70 000 subscribers coming onto this channel and harassing me for no reason and that that's suspect okay when i don't go around on other people's channels their comment section start harassing them saying mean things okay but for some reason i'm a target and that tells me i'm on the right track but uh so i just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys this this is crazy they're coming right out with it now they're not hiding from the truth they know there's a firmament they know they can't get out so they're going to pretend that this exists outside the firmament now i'm sure these each of these greek gods has some significance but the fact that there's 12 of them 12 and 3, 3 on the peak, means something. Okay. Pop in here real quick. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, of course, of course, so I'm going to go ahead and pop off of here. I love you guys. Uh, if you have a chance tonight, get caught up on the videos. Um, there's a little bit of a break. I think I have some more uploading like tomorrow. And then uh, I'm going to try to do at least one video a day and more on the weekends so that uh i don't know it's weird some of my better videos just so happen to come up on the weekends i don't know why that is i don't know maybe god knows everyone's watching and he wants to make sure that you guys see these videos but um like i said now i have two channels i have this channel and i entered the stars and i usually will upload duplicates of what I'm uploading here, but every once in a while I'll upload something over there that I want to upload here. And that's just to give you guys a chance to see all of the, of the information. Because what can happen is, um, you know, YouTube's a busy place now. And so a lot of people won't get to see all the videos. But if you're getting, you're getting it coming to your feed twice, then, um, then you'll be able to catch up on all the videos. All right, you guys, looks like we're having technical di difficulties again. This has been the story of our life. With This is why I don't live stream much anymore. Because what's the use of live streaming when it's just a frustrating experience? So I'll let you go. I love you guys. Thanks for coming out here. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe.